Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the next video I'm going to show, it's kind of a vulnerable video. It's about the day I wrote my Casper and I was just kind of filming my experience with it. In this video, I was really nervous. So I'm kind of down the whole day and I also was sick and like did not sleep at all that night before. So excuse how down I am. I really think that this video will help some people who are struggling to be like, what is my Casper test? Honestly, I found that you couldn't really study for it and you don't really know how you did until you get your mark back, which I still haven't even got my mark back. So I have no idea how I did. This video is just informative and I hope that if anyone's confused about their Casper, they can watch this video and be feel a little bit better. Hey guys, so today's the day. It's my Casper test. I am so nervous. I haven't been sleeping for the past two nights. And if you know me, if you're close to me, you know I cannot function without sleep. Last night I woke up at 3.15 and I did not go back to bed. Because my test is until freaking 8 o'clock. So sorry if I'm shaking because I'm also ill. I just feel like this is such a weird test because it's based on like your ethical thinking so it's like i know i'm an ethical person but like will i say what they want me to say okay guys so the coffee is slowly hitting i'm feeling really congested right now so hoping that doesn't affect me that much and hopefully my brain is still working well i'm like nervous but at the same time i'm not I just really hope that the practice test doesn't mess me up so I don't want to feel less confident because of the practice test. I have to look professional so I might like do a little face makeup. I kind of feel stupid because I didn't do the prep like a week before. Well I did but I didn't realize that there's more practice tests. <sighs> One of those days. So I just did that. I found the typing section way easier than the other section, um, the video section. I thought the video section, I was like glitching, but I also was skipping past like the 30 second things to let your brain process. I don't know why. I'm really gonna let myself like sit and marinate and give myself the breaks when needed because there's like given breaks throughout. But also like the video questions were low key hard, but. Guys, I'm starting to feel a lot better. I'm making myself lunch. Did a little bit of makeup, literally just eyebrows and mascara because I have to look presentable. I'm definitely gonna wear something nicer when I'm writing. I have sweatpants on. Ow, that hurt. And I will keep them on, but they'll only see above. And I've just been practicing my videos responses because that's my weak point. In this scenario, I would do this because of this. But yeah, I'm still feeling really tired because of lack of sleep, but I honestly don't think I'm in a nap because I'm just like so amped up and ready to go. Excuse the background noise. It is the air fryer cooking my chicken. I forgot that potatoes take forever to cook. I probably won't start doing the test prep again until like 2.30. Here is my choice of food for lunch. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have an exam, my tummy hurts. I feel like I'm more stressed for this than I am for my actual exams. And I only have two this year, which is so blessed. Like I've never had, I feel like the most I've had is five. And I only have th two. I did have three papers though, to be fair. I got those bad boys done. So now I'm chilling. I still have to submit one. But that's, I have to wait till the Dropbox opens. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this, watch some Gilmore Girls, relax. Hopefully my tummy stops hurting, um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I also am having a second coffee, which is risky, but at this point I can't help it. Okay guys, so it's currently like 2.30. I'm gonna go upstairs and write another practice test in my roommate's room because she's letting me write it upstairs and two of my roommates aren't gonna be there when I'm writing the test and I don't feel embarrassed like talking out loud during the talking portion. I'm gonna do a time lapse of me just taking a practice test. <laughs> Just did some more videos. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. 
but I'm still a little scared. I'm trying to come across very put together and businesslike, but I feel like it's really hard to. So I'm gonna do another test. But I feel like I might just stress myself out even more. So I gotta figure this out. Guys, I changed my sweater to a more professional looking one and I thought like green. People will be like, she needs to go to physio school. I don't know, that might be delusional, but currently trying to eat some soup dumplings. My tummy is feeling really upset right now. I'm watching a little bit of Gilmore Girls. There's actually a countdown on that website. Two hours and nine minutes and 33 seconds until my test. I'm feeling good. I just obviously really nervous. Okay, I'm actually kind of calm right now. Like, why? Why do they do it at 8 p.m.? Why don't they do it at 12? I can't function. I'm literally in bed at 8. This is what I've been thinking about though in my mind for the video on this setup straight. I was saying, in this situation, I would do this because of this. I'm gonna try to follow that format throughout and try to stick to the plan. Will I stick to it though in the heat of the moment? I don't know. But every single time I have that 10 seconds to process the videos, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna give myself the breaks when needed. Generally, I'm a fast test taker, but this one is like, you have to be fast. So, I think fast, which is nice. And I find that the the typing questions are pretty easy. I do spell a couple words wrong. This literally feels like the longest day of my entire life. Also, I will be writing the test with Stitch on my lap so that I can touch him to ground me because I'm feeling a little nervous right now. Hey guys, so I said it was going to be a realistic Casper video, so here's going to be some realisticness. The first question, I was obviously really nervous and it was a video scenario question. So I tried to get the words out, but I was stuttering a little and I feel like I didn't come across confident. However, I took a deep breath and made it through three more video questions confidently and I believe that I did well during those. However, on my last video question, um, yeah. I think there's six video questions or five, I can't remember exactly. The last one, I did the first, because typically there's two parts, two questions. I did the first video, or video response to the first question, and then it would wasn't working. My test was buffering, it says, do not close the browser, do not reboot the browser. So I was freaking out. 10 minutes go by, I'm like, what is going on? So then I, text the text support which is like a little chat on the bottom I'm like hey my thing's not working what do I do he's like oh just refresh it when I refreshed it it took me back and I had to redo the first question on the video but I had no time to prepare so I was stuttering like crazy I really hope the first video saved but I highly doubt it second video I was like I had like 30 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever so I took a deep breath and I tried to get through it, but I also feel like I was stuttering in that one. Then the word, the type stuff come on and I'm feeling way more confident and I feel like I did really well on the type stuff. Um, there was a couple that I didn't finish fully the word that I was typing, but like I had a good point for every single question because there's like three paragraphs per question. And it also gives you just so much time, so I felt less stressed. So I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm really scared. Like, honestly, I cried after and I called my family. <laughs> but I'm trying to stay positive. It's like, yo, 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 I'm happy now. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's actually January 3rd and I actually did decently well on my Casper. I think I was just really exhausted and in my head about it, but honestly it all worked out and i'm really happy and i'm really surprised how fast the results came in i just woke up to the email that they're in but yeah i'm happy with my results obviously there's room for improvement but at this point like considering how bad i thought i did i'm vibing bye guys thanks for watching